there everyone it's Michelle again and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today I truly appreciate it today I have another New Year's Eve tutorial for you so let's go ahead and get started I've already done my base and my brows my foundation and my bronzer and blush and highlight so the face is done so let's go ahead and get started so first off I am just using a cream shadow this is by Maybelline and it's in a bronzy gold color um, and I'm just gonna place that all over the lid working it in with my finger and then I'm going to blend it through the crease with a Mac 217 brush and I'm just gonna take this real easy and real simple um, and we are just placing this cream shadow down on the lid and then we're gonna add our shadows afterwards Okay, so now I'm just taking a MAC 217 and I am just working that through the crease, just blending it up so there are no harsh edges. And I'm gonna do that on both eyes. So just keep building and blending and building and blending. Um, adding a coat, blending it in, adding a coat and blending it in, and that'll give you a nice, good, solid, opaque base in order to add our pressed pigments and our loose pigments on top of this. So yeah, I'm just taking my finger and blending it in and then taking the MAC 217 and blending it through the crease. It's super easy, super simple. I love this shadow. It doesn't crease, it doesn't move, and it helps those pigments to stick to it. Yeah, it's really, really good, and I think it's only about 5 or $6 at the drugstore. Okay, so next we're taking our Let's Meet in Paris eye palette, and I am taking the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm placing it in a halo shape, meaning on the outside edges, leaving the center clear because we're going to add a different color to the middle in order to make our glitter pop. So I'm just taking a 219 and taking that pressed pigment and um, you can use a setting spray, but I didn't because I had the cream shadow already down. So just go ahead and take it and press it so you don't get any fallout and just blend it through the crease. And then go ahead and do the other eye starting on the outside and working your way in all the way around. Okay, so now I'm just turning the uh, 219 over and I'm taking the shade Eiffel Tower, which is a lighter gold, sort of a greeny gold, and I'm placing that in the center of the eye in order to make the eye pop. We want a really rounded eye. We're not winging it out like a cat eye. So just go ahead and take that and press it in. Don't worry, it's going to stick to that cream shadow. No worries there. So it looks really, really good. It's super easy, super simple. Um, just press it in so you don't get any fallout and then go ahead and take any glitter I'm just using max gold glitter and some glitter glue and I'm just placing that through the center of the eye Placing the glue down just on the middle and then I'm gonna just take my finger and press the glitter in So I get minimal fallout if you use a brush It's gonna go all over your face unless you use a setting spray. I didn't I just use my finger so as you can see, I'm just taking my finger, my ring finger, and just pressing it in the, on the center of the eye. Boom, you're done. Looks great, very simple, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and do the other eye. Doing the same thing, just adding the glue to the center. adding a little bit more glue and then just taking our ring finger and we're going to just press that glitter on the center of the eye. All right. 
right, so now it's time for tight lining and I am just using Milani's All Day Waterproof Liner in black and I am just tight lining the waterline. Okay, now time for curling your lashes and applying mascara. And go ahead and apply the mascara to both the top and bottom lashes. Just a couple of slicks because we're going to be wearing false lashes and we just want them to blend in. We don't want them to stick out. So just go ahead and add a few slicks of that to both the top and bottom lashes. Alright, now I'm just using the e.l.f. Uh, high definition uh, setting powder and I'm just placing that underneath both eyes just to set my concealer. And I really do love this powder. It's invisible and it makes my concealer stay all day. My concealer doesn't crease or break down or get really funny. It just makes it pop and looks really, really nice. And now I'm just taking my same Essence Mascara, and you can't really see this shot, but I'm applying it to my lower lash line. And I am just really applying probably two coats on the bottom lash line because our, up, our top lashes are going to be very heavy and we wanna balance that out. So I'm applying a couple coats to the bottom lashes. And I really do love this mascara. It does not run, it does not bleed. It is amazing. I absolutely loved it right out of the gate. And that's saying a lot because I don't like a lot of mascaras when they're brand brand new, but this is wonderful. Okay, now it's time for lips and I'm going to be using MAC's Lip Pencil in Vino as well as the lipstick by MAC in the shade Rebel. And this is a dark purpley berry lip and I absolutely love it with this eye look. It is beautiful. It stays all day, it stains your lips, and I just love it. So I'm just taking Max Pencil and I am just defining both my top and bottom lip, and then I will be coloring both lips in. That way my lipstick will stay all night long. Okay, now time for lipstick, and I'm going to be using Max Rebel, like I said before, and just applying that both on the top and bottom lip, straight from the bullet, and then I'm going to be using a lip brush to go ahead and blend that in so it's more of a stain, so it'll stay all night long. I absolutely love this lipstick. I wear it all the time. When I wear a natural eye or a smoky eye or a glittery eye, it is amazing and goes with everything. I absolutely love it. And then just go ahead and take your lip brush and go ahead and blend uh, that outer edge in so it's nice and blended so it doesn't migrate and it sort of pushes that lipstick into your lips so it stains your lips. Great technique. Learn that from Lisa Eldridge. I absolutely love doing that. And then just applying another coat of lipstick. And now time for lashes. And I'll be using the House of Lashes uh, in the style Starlet and the, uh, let's see, and the House of Lash Glue. And just placing my lashes on my eyelids. Okay, now it's time to set the foundation and I'm using my favorite product of 2017. This is the Guerlain Meteorites Gold Pearls and I absolutely love this product. 
It helps to set your foundation and blend everything on your face in so it's nice and seamless. I absolutely love it. So if you want this product, it's going fast on Sephora's website. So go ahead and check it out. I absolutely love it and I think it's worth every single penny. So just take a huge fluffy brush and go ahead and set the face. And then I decided to go ahead and gloss up the lips. I felt like the eyes were a little bit unbalanced. So I'm just using a Revlon gloss. I'm not sure of the shade because the sticker came off, but if I can find it, I will uh, put it in the description box below. And it's, a, it's exactly the same shade as the lipstick. And I'm just go, going ahead and glossing up the lips. And that's it everyone. That's the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. Um, and I love you guys and happy new year, happy holidays. And I will see you next year in my next video. I love you guys. Ciao everyone. Bye-bye.